guys, so today I thought I would do a quick video on some of the things that I bought in LA. I say quick, God knows I love to talk, so we'll see. I just had two weeks over there, um, my boyfriend's working over there for quite a while, we spend quite a little, well, a, yeah, a fair amount of time over there and I love it. Love the shopping, it's always very, um, it's a super friendly experience shopping in LA. I feel like you make friends as you shop. There are loads of really nice curated, edited boutiques. Some of my favourite brands are based over there, like Realisation Pa and Reformation and stuff. So, yeah, it's always quite it's one of my favourite places to shop, pretty much. So I thought I would just walk you through some of the things that I bought and have been wearing since. Um, I thought I would start with um, a couple of more basics. Now, truth be told, I actually got these before I went to LA, but it is a brand that I would not ordinarily um, head to when in LA, so I feel like I can make this work. Depending on what age you are, if I say this is one of my best kept secrets, some of you will be like, what? If you're under 25, maybe even under, a bit less, I don't know, you probably shop there all the time. If you're more like late 20s, early 30s, you might not shop there quite as much. Um, so it's Brandy Melville, and... I am, I do normally feel like one of the oldest people in there shopping <laughs> and that's not to do it a disservice, it's just because, you know, it's, it is like a lot of, a lot of young, it has a younger audience essentially. But it does the best, it does amazing t-shirts, it does amazing sweatshirts, all it's like jersey, leggings, everything are super comfortable and these, I, I love it for kind of just little, just little easy tops. So I bought a couple of, I have this one which is really creased because it's been in the wash. Um, but this, I have a bit in black as well, and it's just really nice with jeans and like these sort of classic sort of vintage jeans that I wear all the time. It's a really nice kind of, I feel like in LA as well, like you never want to feel too, I don't really like walking, like walking around a city in like tiny shorts and tiny tops. But something like this with like really nice, um, like, neutral sandy coloured linen trousers like or culottes or something or anything that's sort of mustard coloured like I've got some Simon Miller jeans if they were a bit higher waisted they would look amazing with this so yeah a couple of tops like that and then I bought this which I've always been a huge fan of smocked stuff and this is I mean it could look really young on me maybe but I feel like it works when you're in a sort of sunny place, you're wearing it with jeans, if you had like a sort of longer midi wrap skirt or something, it just, it's so flattering and it just feels really like 70s and it reminds me of, um, I can't remember what, she, oh, that's awful, I can't remember her name, but the dancer in Dirty Dancing, um, not Baby, the beautiful blonde dancer, his dance partner who gets pregnant. I feel like she wears like a really cute little smock top in a scene, I don't know, but it reminds me of that. So yeah, I had a couple of little tops like that that I took out with me. So I'm kind of starting with a cheat. Next up, I feel like LA is like the land of denim. It is just, it is the home to every single, pretty much every single amazing denim brand. Frame, Mother, Page, Redans, Reformation do amazing sort of sort of reworkings of vintage jeans. So I, I have got a couple of jeans to show you. So the first pair, which again, <laughs> ironically, this is not, um, is this an American brand? No, it's not. Anyway, I bought these from one of my favourite shops, LCD. Um, the first of a few pairs of jeans that I'm going to show you throughout this video. These are Sandy Lang. Now, they are much more than I would normally spend on jeans, but I love Sandy Lang. I love that she does amazing, um, amazing, like, thick Sherpa coats and stuff, and... It's just, it's just, I just think it's just a really cool brand at the moment and I love the fact that these have like a seam down the front, they've got this really cute uh, um, embroidery on the side that says no guts, no glory, which I love. They've got other little bits of embroidery as well and they just um, fit like a dream basically. So I bought those from this shop on Abbot Kinney in Venice called LCD, which I love. It's small but sort of perfectly formed, it's got a really nice edit of kind of Boutique independent brands and labels, great swimwear, really nice little organic beauty dotted around. It's really nice. I also got this um, Regina Pio top. The assistant in the in LCD was this. I mean, so such. I mean, 
such a woman crush of mine. She was so gorgeous. She was sort of like brunette with freckles, and then she told me she had a child, and I was like, oh my god, you, you're just like the most gorgeous sort of mother slash human. And um, she was wearing the dress of this, so it's sort of like a body dress with sort of buttons down it. And I tried that on, and I just she looked so good in it, and then I tried it on, and I was like, mm, my friend, she was tall and willowy, and it just didn't do anything for me. But this, I kind of love. So I, I've always been a big fan of off-the-shoulder tops, but if I'm being honest, like, uh, was it this summer? Where it just kind of, again, went into overdrive, and every single top, like, every single top anywhere was off-the-shoulder. I've worn a few, I've got a few off-the-shoulder things that I've worn over summer, but not that many, and this... It's a really nice kind of new take on it because it's very much more one shoulder and then this just sort of hangs off on the other. And it fits really like, neatly around the waist and then it kind of, it is quite gapy around here. It, like, you do have to be not careful, I mean, it's just if you were to lean forward, or no, it's more if you were sitting down and someone was like, oh, standing over the top of you, they might be able to see straight down your top but you know how often does that happen so <laughs> I just think it's a super and like, with fashion weeks coming up in September and stuff and I felt like when I was shopping in LA this time I really tried hard to only buy things that I'm gonna actually wear in the coming seasons and not just buy things that felt super summery and LA and stuff that I wanted to wear because I am about to go into autumn um, and this I feel like oh my god I have to wash this as well this is so embarrassing <laughs> um, this I feel like I would wear even at Christmas time with like leather trousers to a dinner or something or to a party because it's just, yeah, it's long sleeve. So even though it's a bit sort of, you know, shape sexy, just take it off the shoulder, it's not too, um, it's not really showing that much skin. So I love that. And I just love this colour so much. So those were my LCD purchases. So I actually did buy a couple of shoes while in LA, which again, I had kind of fashion weeks in mind and I haven't I I sort of I have a weird thing with shoes like I do I love shoes and I love I buy I do buy boots in the winter and in the summer I have lots and lots of sandals but I, I don't buy heels that often I did buy a couple of pairs of heels in LA so these are Mariam Nazir Zadair which I'm sure I'm pronouncing incorrectly I think they're a New York based brand um, She's a New York based brand and I've always loved loved her shoes. I've never had a pair for myself before um, and found these in a store called Je The General Store, I think it is, on Lincoln, on Lincoln in Venice. And I just think they're, again, quite 70s, quite retro, really comfortable. The ankle strap kind of sits below your foot so I feel like they're a little bit more flattering. I just love them and it was one of those real, it was, I'd be lying if I said it wasn't an impulse purchase. Like I'd been shopping around LA I think for the afternoon before and seen a few pairs of shoes that I really liked. I tried on some um, Jacquemus ones in Mohawk General Store as well, which didn't work. And then I saw these and it was, it was a little bit of an impulse, just like, yes. Yes, I like them. I shall, I shall take them. So, and I wore them on our last night in LA, and they felt great. I loved them. Um, so that was my one pair, two pair, my my first of two pairs of shoes. And then the second pair. I'm just going to show you the second pair of shoes that I bought. And again, these are both really nice shoes. So I don't know what I. I mean, I was obviously just feeling a bit splurgy, but you know, when it, I think it's something about shopping when you're on holiday as well. Like I would never walk into a boutique in London and just like buy a beautiful pair of shoes. I would never do that. <laughs> if, I, if I might like look at something on Nest Porter or Matches or something for ages and be like, am I gonna get it, am I gonna get it, shall I get it, shall I get it? But I would never just walk in and do it. And then somehow when you're away, it's just, you just something come up, something just comes over you and you're like, oh yeah, okay, you know, I'm what if I never see them again? I can't actually even say these for these because I bought I bought these from Need Supply, which is one of my favourite online. Oh, they do squeak a bit, don't they? Um, uh, one of my favourite American online stores. Again, very sort of minimalist. Um, I feel like the aesthetic of Need Supply is very Venice in LA. It's, it's very pared back. It's um, it's got a really nice edit, a really nice edit of shoes, and I love these Mary. Giudelci, oh god I can't, 
Judicelli? Judicelli. Mario Judicelli. I've seen these around, I've seen them on Instagram, and then suddenly became obsessed with them, and I kind of took advantage of buying them from Need Supply and getting them shipped to our address in LA. I couldn't decide for ages on the colour, and I've already got a mark on these, so these were probably a bad mistake, a, you know, an error. But I just love how, like, neutral and soft and easy. I don't know, I just, I, in the, I was sort of thinking, oh, do I go he's sort of a yellow mustard or chocolate brown? I love them all. And in the end, I was like, no, I'm going to keep it really refined and super sort of, yeah, just sort of as pared back as possible. And I really adore these. I think these are just, but they are looking a bit really worn already. <laughs> I've only worn them like twice, but I love those. Next up, uh, Reformation. You can't, you can't, I just don't think you can go to LA and not go to Reformation and they do have a really cool new um, venture happening in their stores in LA at the moment. None of this is sponsored or anything, obviously. I just went in and had a play around, but they basically have really refined all their stores so they've taken loads of the stock away and then they have these um, screens. So you can look at the stuff on the rails, they have what's in stock, like one of each thing on stock in the rails and then they have a computer screen and you can flip through things and order sizes to go direct to your changing room. And then when you're in your changing room, if something doesn't fit or you want something to try on with some jeans or you want something else, you can do it on the screen, close your wardrobe doors in your changing room and then it says, hey, your stuff's ready, you open your wardrobe and it's there. So it's really cool. If anyone else, like I'm a bit of a, I'm an introvert by nature and I think I've always hated that like when you're shopping by yourself and you have to be like, ask, you know, you're kind of in your underwear and you have to be like, excuse me, um, could you just um, get uh, like, and you're like holding the thing around you as so you're like, I just love a different side, you know, I just, I'm not really down with that. I normally like get dressed entirely again and walk out and find my own size and it just takes a long time so that I love that. Anyway, needless to say I bought a couple of things. I first off, I got this jumpsuit. You might have seen, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen these on my Instagram stories. I love the buttons. I just love anything with a tortoiseshell button. But yeah, it's super flattering, easy, it's quite long, it's not... It's not sort of mid-length, it's down to the ankle, well, on me at least it is. And you can adjust the length of the straps, and yeah, I just loved that. Again, felt like I would wear that, maybe even to like, you know, to like a winter wedding or events or whatever. And then I got this little number, which is, I conceived more summery. I'm not really going to get much wear out of this in London, but it's just, I... I'm just loving anything that's chocolate brown at the moment, and I have this in a stripe um, that I wore earlier this year that I'll insert some pictures of. I just had to, oh it's really creased, but I just had to have it. I wore it about three for about three days after I bought it in LA, and it was just because it was really hot, and yeah, it's just perfect. Oh, that's got a stain on it as well, I just need to do some dry cleaning, essentially. Next up. This was, so there's this little surf, sort of surf store slash brand in Culver City, which I really recommend going to in LA. There's this um, place called Platform in Culver City that is very, uh, it's like a really nice, again, um, collection of sort of independent stores. They've got an amazing taco place there. Yeah. I took myself for lunch when I went there. Um, called Destroyer, that's an amazing place for lunch that's in Culver City and I think lots of brands and maybe even movie studios and music studios and stuff are based around there so it's got a really nice, it's got a really nice atmosphere um, anyway this store, there's a store there called um, Salt Surf and it's a bit like Saturdays, um, the sort of New York surf brand my boyfriend loves Saturdays I went to get him a birthday present which I did <laughs> I'm not going to show that, but I also got myself one. It's basically they do lots of t-shirts and sweatshirts saying nice and cool. I mean, it does feel, I'm not going to lie, it does feel a bit weird wearing a t-shirt on yourself that says nice and cool. But it is quite fun. You get loads of people being like, nice and cool, baby, nice and cool. And you're like, yeah, hi. Um, you know, but I just, I just like it. I love a slogan tee and I feel like, as you can probably tell, <laughs> but I just think, yeah, I don't know, I just think it's a bit cool and a bit, oh my god, I'm going to be that person that goes, I just think it's a bit nice and a bit cool, like, you know, anyway, I just liked it. And then, one thing that I have been 
umming and ahhing about and probably wanting now for about uh, six months probably is the Stoud, a Stoud bucket bag. Stoud, stored, oh no, I'm saying Stoud, sorry if that's wrong guys. I just love it, they do amazing, they've got this, these amazing linen um, jumpsuits and dresses at the moment with kind of like a zigzaggy, it's not a zigzag, you know those sort of when you have that, like a sort of scallop, a line of sort of scallop zigzag embroidery almost, or like a piece of fat, I can't remember what you call it, I think it's a zigzaggy thing. Anyway, they look great and they just, their campaigns are really cool, their imagery, I just, I really love the whole aesthetic. If you think of like Glossier as a clothes brand, as a, as a fashion brand, that's kind of, the two are very, very sort of closely married somehow, I think. This is the bucket bag that I wanted for ages, it's been sold out for ages. Me and bucket bags do have a bit of a problem. I think I love it because it's very just like, you know, you just throw things in. It's not great for security. <laughs> but um, maybe the fish, I think the net helps with that, you know? It's definitely a, a girl's bag, shall we say. Um, when I went for dinner with some friends of ours on our last night in LA, the guy that we were having dinner with just thought this bag was hysterical. He was like, so essentially you've bought a plant pot and stuck it in a fishing net. And I was like, yeah, I think it looks really good. <laughs> so this is my new baby, I do love it, and again, I kind of, yeah, I just, I just, I mean, I have a bag problem. You, I'm sure if I do more videos on here, that will quickly become apparent. I do have a bag problem. There's something that I love. I think because I wear a lot of basics, I wear a lot of jeans, a lot of t-shirts, or sort of dresses that I have on repeat. So having new accessories, I feel like brings new life, gives new life to kind of old, you know, the things that I'm wearing again and again and again. So back to denim. So the one brand I didn't mention, is Citizens of Humanity. Now, I've only just been introduced to Citizens of Humanity and I won't lie, I did not buy these, I was very kindly given them. I went to meet a girl in LA who, weirdly, it's such a weird story, so she works for Citizens of Humanity and she emailed me and just said, oh, you know, if you're ever in LA um, or San Fran or whatever, like, I'd love to meet you. And I saw her, I saw her name and I was like, my God, I, Really, so I, I think I, fo I think I followed this girl on Pinterest for about seven years. So I really creepily, when I emailed back, was like, um, this is really weird. And obviously, yes, I'd love to meet you too. But is this you? And like, screenshot her Pinterest. Because if it is, like, I followed you for years. So I was like, this is so weird. She's like, yes, that's me. Oh my god, that's so funny. So we had a little fangirly moment of just being like, oh, I love you. I love your Instagram. No, I really like your aesthetic and. Anyway, we, we met up in LA and she very kindly gave me a couple of pairs of jeans to try and I am so, I was so pleasantly surprised. I have to say I'm a real fuss pot when it comes to good denim. I have a ton of it, but I don't, I'm very picky about how it fits and how much stretch it has or how it, whatever. So I'm kind of fussy. But these fit amazingly. I mean, this is the Dree. Three crop high rise slim straight. It's a mouthful, but they fit so well. They fit like a bit like a vin like a piece of vintage denim. They fit like vintage Levi's. These are slightly more. These have slightly more of a kick flare at the bottom, but I just love they're worn so nicely. Like they're they're just. It, this is this is exactly the, what I would try and do. Like some jeans when they try and have do frays and stuff. They just do it all wrong, and these are done perfectly. These are called the Estrella High Rise Ankle Flare. I love that, Estrella. Isn't that from Great Expectations? I think she's called Estrella, or no, maybe Estella. Um, but yeah, I love, I just adore those denim. Oh my god, I just had a napkin come out of my pocket. <laughs> I've tried not to put everything in the wash so I can keep track of it to do this video after my trip, and I think that's slightly backfiring on me right now. I'm going to get a reputation for being the dirtiest blogger ever, oh well. And then last but not least, I have a couple of Realisation Par pieces. Now again, I, I did cheat because I had these before I left. If you are in the States, that's the best place to probably buy it because you, you know, it's probably quickest for shipping stuff. Actually no, saying that, when I've ordered stuff from them, it has, it has arrived within 
five, six, seven days maximum. These are a couple of my favourite current realisation pieces and you, I do own a lot of it and I, I just love it. So they've been doing these kind of tops for ages and it's only recently that I have been embracing them a bit more. I was always really nervous of these tops because I just felt like either my tummy was on show and I do not like my tummy being on show really, or I felt like you're just popping out of it the whole time. It just does up with a single tie. But I have rediscovered the joy of tit tape and somehow I think I've mastered knotting them now where with a bit of tape and I'm actually not wearing tape in this clips, the cutaway clips in this video but if I was wearing it out and about I would wear a tiny bit of tape. It does sound like a real kerfuffle for every day but it's not, it's actually, tape's easy and it's, you know, I always think tit tape makes you think of like wearing something really like gross and plunging and kind of and yes this is plunging but in a I don't know in a different way I just I think they can look super cool again I would make sure I was wearing this with jeans so that it just wasn't too like boobs legs you know well actually if I was somewhere on, on holiday and I think they're just I do you know what I think they're really nice as well like if you are on holiday having something like this over a bikini with some denim shorts and just having it open for lunch or something I think that's really a really nice just love them and I love a polka dot. This, I put this on my blog recently. I have um, the purple wrap version of this as well. So, and I just love this new print they've brought out. I want every single dress in this print. I just love red and me kind of get on pretty well. I think red and blondes are a bit of a match made in heaven somehow. And this is just, all these dresses are so flattering. They cinch you in. They, again, I would probably wear a bit of tape with this, to the way my body is, I don't know whether it's just me, but I, if I wear a bra, you're going to see it with this dress, but I can get away with just wearing nothing, just having tape, and I know not everyone can, but I can, and you know what? Sometimes it's okay, small boobs rejoice. We, there are pros, and this is a pro, so, and I never used to be a midi dress person, but realisation have converted me completely. And I wear midi length skirts a lot now, not just from this brand, from all kinds of different brands. I think they're actually sort of, they're quite cool. They always used to feel quite mumsy, but I don't, I don't feel like that now, so I'm loving those. So that is everything that I bought. Oh, I have one last thing actually, hold on. So this is just, this is actually the one piece of vintage that I actually bought from, we made, finally made it to Rose Bowl Flea Market, which is like, a really famous um, flea market in Pasadena. My boyfriend went a bit crazy, well not crazy, but like he was rifling through those t-shirts and sweatshirts and finding all these like champion pieces that he loved and stuff. Um, and I found it a bit, I think because it was my first day, so I was a bit jet lagged and it was boiling. I just I really struggled to get in the zone, but I did find this little cute embroidered vintage shirt. And again, with jeans with jeans or yeah with jeans I actually would wear this maybe even like further into the winter with some leather trousers or something it look pretty cool with some PVC trousers as well um, if you saw my video with Liv Purvis you might have seen that um a kind of Japanesey kimono embroidered silk jacket that I also got vintage in LA last time I was there from Melrose Trading Post sort of flea market so I think I do have a real affinity for this kind of embroidery. I love that. And finally, I'm just going to show you this. Now this isn't something I bought in LA, I bought it on eBay before I went. Um, but it was something I have really, I really enjoyed using when I was in LA. And it's my, my little Olympus Miju film camera. It's 100% automatic, it has a flash, and the pictures are turning out amazingly. I. I'm so pleased, I'm, so, I'm always like really nervous, every time I use it I always think, oh you know, it's not going to come out, everything's going to come out blurry. I'm sorry if my camera just buzzed out there and clicked off, I just had to change batteries. Ah! New YouTuber alert. But yes, it's, I'm just loving it basically, I'm going to put a couple of pictures in here and there's lots more results from this that are on my blog at the moment as well. So yeah, I think that is everything, that's definitely enough, as you can tell I shopped quite a bit before and, oh, and during. Ah. It's funny, when I'm, when I'm in London I do most of my shopping online, I, um, I don't really go shopping that much, the only times I really enjoy kind of walking around and shopping are in new places, so that's why it's always quite fun to do things like this and I don't believe in hauls or 
you know, showing off all these like new in, new in, new in, new in. But I think that when you've been somewhere new and maybe the brands are new or the stores are independent, I think it's a quite a fun, um, yeah, it's just a quite a fun thing to kind of talk through. Yeah, until next time, guys, thank you so much um, for watching and thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed to my channel already. It's always quite daunting when you start a new, you know, a new venture on a new platform so it's amazing that so many people have watched my first video and are, have enjoyed it and hopefully like this one as well so thank you and see you again soon